Hi everyone, welcome to Open Awards TV. Rachel Newman here and I am joined today by the lovely Nina Hinton who is the Director of Business and Development here at Open Awards. Hi Nina. Hi Rachel, good start with my job title. Oh, yes, that is a very positive start, seeing as you are my manager, so I do take things in anyway. So um, Nina is here today to give us her top five at five. So this is a new segment that we're starting on Open Awards TV and we're going to continue to do it throughout the months with the senior management team. So you get to hear about all the exciting things that everyone's working on, which is really good. So Nina, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Okay, so we will start with number Five. Okay, so it was difficult trying to get the list out. A lot has happened since we got back from our, our Christmas break. But number five, the most exciting, well not the most, the fifth most exciting thing that has happened um, since January. I will get the hang of this top five at five. Um, is signing off eight new jobs at Open Awards to grow our assessment team. So we are seeing big growth in functional skills and endpoint assessments. So we have taken the decision in January to invest um, further in the resource that we need to grow the teams around the numbers of learners we've got. So we've got lots of new um, exciting vacancies, a new assessment delivery manager, new coordinators, a full-time remote invigilator, which is really exciting. It'll be the first time we've had a full-time remote invigilator in-house working with us uh, permanently. Um, and we um, are at the shortlisting stage. We've got some brilliant applicants. And I know um, I'm, I am very excited. I know the whole team is excited to have more more people in working with us as we grow and with us. Yeah, brilliant. Great news. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we're going to move on to number four. So, four, funnily enough, sticking with assessments because that's the thing I like most about Open Awards. <laughs> um, and number four for me at the moment is our functional skills development. So we are continuing to work hard across the team to develop new papers that will be rolled out later this year. But in particular in January, we've been looking a lot at our accessibility statements and practices and how we make sure our assessments are accessible to learners. And have been working with a couple of our training providers on a project to look at moving entry level three functional skills on screen. So currently that's only available as paper based. The IT teams and assessment teams have been looking at can we do that on screen? And we're at the stage now of beginning a pilot with a number of our providers where we've got our sample papers built, we've got all the mechanisms for allowing centres to mark their learned work on screen um, and we will be testing really that we've got the accessibility right and that entry level three learners will be able to potentially sit maths, reading and writing functional skills assessments on screen later on in the year. So perhaps what's most exciting about that for us is where we've got apprentices with an education, health and care plan um, who are doing entry level three as part of an apprenticeship would potentially be able to sit their assessments on screen in the workplace in the same way as level one and level two maths and English learners. So yeah, yeah let's come on that. Yeah, that's really, really good. And I think if we can get that message out once we're ready, all of our providers will be really interested in that because a few have been asking. So brilliant, great news. We've been talking about it for a long time, so it's exciting. And yeah, January 22 and we're, we're nearly there now. So it's good. <laughs> We're going to do it. Fab. Thank you. Okay, so number three. Oh, three. <laughs> there you go. We, we can count to five at Open Awards. So at number three, um, really exciting for us in January. And we have done it before, but it's just the second time um, this academic year we had a mental health forum. Um, and that was to focus on supporting our training providers and learners, including apprentices with their mental health and wellbeing. Um, and I know that that was really well received by the providers that attended. Um, big thank you to Richard Curtis from The Root of It for hosting that for us and sharing his insights. But what I think was even more exciting than having Richard there talking through everything with us was having learners um, from some of our providers there sharing their own experiences. And I know, Rachel, you were fundamental in putting that together. So I don't know if you want to add to it. Yeah, so I was there at the session and it was brilliant. Um, it was an interactive session and we advised people of that beforehand, but it really was interactive. Everyone got involved, they unmuted themselves. It was a, a lovely chat about how um, mental health is important and how we can support everyone with mental health as well. Really good suggestions in the chat as well. People were suggesting um, films on Netflix that are really interesting and things like that. And we had some learners join us as well, which was brilliant. So it was really, really good. So yeah, thank you to all who attended that and there will be more to come, definitely. Fab. Okay, number two. 
Okay, so moving back to um, endpoint assessment because that's so that's our, our whole world at the moment. Um, really exciting at the moment that we've just had our sixth apprentice for level two pharmacy support staff and um, achieve their apprenticeship. So congratulations on them. Um, and we've got another 40 that are due to get to Gateway and take their approach, their endpoint assessment um, over the next sort of four to six months, so a lot more to come. Um, but on top of that, we have now had our very first level three pharmacy technician apprentice get to Gateway and they are due to go to an awarding panel to achieve their endpoint assessment in the next couple of weeks. Wow. So that's been a lot of work. It's been about five years' work um, on qualifications and developing endpoint assessments for our pharmacy qualifications. Um, and yeah, really just well done to the whole team who have got us there and well done to the training providers that work with us, but most importantly that first apprentice. So as soon as they have, um, they have achieved, we will be shouting about their success. Definitely brilliant. Great. Good stuff. And last one. So number one, what is the, the main thing you've been doing this month that you really want to share with us, Nina? Okay. So going to stick with endpoint assessment, mainly because Good. we're recording this just before National Apprenticeship Week. So... Um, but also because it is what's taking up most of our time at the moment um, and as of January, so first or second week in January, Open Awards are now an approved endpoint assessment organisation for the Level 3 Youth Support Worker um, Apprenticeship Standard. So we are now on the SFA register for that. Um, next steps for us are to expand our scope of recognition with Ofqual and to develop that assessment strategy and resources. We are aiming to launch in August 2022. Um, really excited to be working with some amazing subject specialists um, and um, partners and we've got some training providers involved in that and employers um, and uh, the team have got everything in hand um, to make sure we are ready for that launch date but I think for me this is one probably the most exciting um, apprenticeship, my background youth work, I think it's the best thing in the world um, fully supportive of um, the sector's drive to grow the number of qualified youth workers and to sort of continue to highlight the amazing work they do right across education, health and care sectors. So really pleased that Open Awards can support this um, and yeah, watch this space. We'll be ready in August. Brilliant, brilliant. Great stuff. So your top five just shows how Open Awards is growing and we are, are reaching out there in the world of education, um, which is absolutely fantastic. So thank you so, so much. So uh, thank you for your time today. We will be coming to you soon on Open Awards TV with the next member of SMT, who I hope is as good as you, Nina. So thank you very oh, much. And only hope. Can't promise. <laughs> Thanks. See you soon. Bye. Bye.